Hello everyone. This is a uh, Panther from Gaming Art Crafts. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Gaming Art Crafts. Put likes and comments down below if you like everything that I'm putting on my channel. Okay. So um, today we're going to speak about um, merging um, animations on Mixamo and uh, converting. Uh, a third person character into an FPS character. Um, that's what we're going to speak about today. So uh, here we go. Um, yeah, guys, I haven't did a tutorial in a while because I've been kind of busy. Um, now I have the time to do it. Um, let's talk about it. So everybody on Copper Q knows how to merge. Um, you know, you know, characters, you know, animation characters. If you have an animation or character modeling character that you're using, you know, everybody knows how to merge um, multiple animations, um, um, characters into, um, from Mixamo and putting into Blender and, and, and putting into Copycube. That's, uh, one thing that most people know how to do, but some people, the newbies that don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to do it. But, what this and what this tutorial more is about is if you want to create more FPS games and you want to turn your third person character into a FPS character, I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. It's mostly using more Blender. Um, so we're going to be using Blender as the third um, party app. And, and then converting from Blender into Copper Cube for your upcoming games, okay? So, let's speak about this character. I have a, I have a character here. He's just a regular character. Um, I'm going to put some animations into this character. What I'm trying to do is have this character hold something. And the only thing that's close to him holding something is a torch animation. So, I'm using the torch idols like this one. And then um, so other animations like, you know, the look around and everything. So I'm going to use those animations to, um, to, bring, to bring the character um, to, to, to uh, instead of using the whole character as a third person, I'm going to use it as an FPS. So I'm going to download this, this animation item. Okay, and I already have like three. I'm using three animations for the Mixamo, so I already have those animations already on file. But I'm going to show you how they look uh, once I show you what to do once you turn this third person character to FPS character. So I'm going to open up Blender, opening up Blender. And I already downloaded an animation from Mixamo. So I'm going to take that downloaded F FBX file from Mixamo, put it into Blender, and show you how to create that character into an FPS character. Delete the box. So I'm going to go File, Import, FBX. Okay? And I'm going to find that animation, which is called Standing Torch Idle. Zero one. This is the animation. Um, it's here, but it's it's very low. Um, the reason why the scaling is at zero point zero ten because when it goes into Mex Mixamo, it's going to scale out to one no matter what. So it's going to be the average size is one. But if I put it as one, it's gonna character is gonna be bigger. So right now, this is the size for the character. This is the animation for the character. You'll see it. I'm gonna hit play. That's just a torch idol animation that you see. Okay. So how do I make this character into an FPS character? Uh, we're gonna do this in Blender. Okay. And I'm gonna explain to you and show you right now. So what you want to do 
is you want to move the character down just a little bit so you could because you're going to focus on the vertex of the character so I'm going to focus on the vertex bring it down somewhere to like mid level here right and then I got it in the middle now that I did that um, what you want to do now is um, sometimes I like to type in um, my animation I'm gonna call it idle so what you want to do now is um, you click on um, the bones and you might just want to hide the bones you don't want the bones to show up you want to hide the bones right then after you hide the bones you click on the polygon of the character okay um, what you can do since it's two separate polygons of the character um, and you're not going to use the head you could just go ahead and delete the head delete the head delete the hair delete the eyes delete all that because you're not going to need it you're just going to need the FPS arms so you click on the polygon of the main character you see where it says object mode you're going to go into edit mode go into edit mode it brings it back to a T pose position of that model so what's going to show up is all the vertex on that polygon okay so once you see all the vertex on that polygon you zoom in so you want to see it more that's good enough so what you're going to do is you're going to select the torso of the the polygons okay then you're just gonna delete them go in there delete more you know to you get to a satisfied position you're like whoa whoa he's deleting all the vertex of the polygons but there's a reason why I'm doing it because I want my character to have nothing but arms now one thing you gotta understand when I do this it's not gonna it's not gonna change the animation it's not gonna change the character it's not gonna change anything how the way anything looks for the character the character still has this is UV textures it still have its UV textures it still has its animation I didn't delete the animation and I didn't delete the the textures of the character I'm only deleting the torso and the head so it could just be only the arms um, sometimes if you feel like you want to you can leave the legs so it gives some type of standing point for the character so you know where the character is going to stand in in the game so I'm trying to get it where I delete enough vertexes in the, in the in the arm so it just only the arm okay I I you know I play with blender and I play with you know um copper cute a little bit to realize like you know you can make your own FPS arms you know and um that's a that's a good thing you know instead of just creating arms and just animating it no you just use the third person character and then create your own FPS arms it's a good thing to do when you're creating a game where you want to attach the weapons and everything so you just want to get it to a point where both arms look the same and all the polygons are let me see it looks decent do you think I need to delete more it looks close let's see the bottom now the bottom either you could delete the legs or you could keep them but I'm gonna keep the legs and there's a re reason why because I need to know how deep the character stands in the game the thing is when it comes to the camera the camera is not going to show the legs the camera is only going to show the arms it never showed the legs it always shows the arms so it, it really doesn't matter if you delete the legs or not you can if you want but then you're going to have to size up your collision 
when it comes, if it has no legs, you know what I'm saying? You got to size up your collision if it doesn't have no legs and how the tall, the character, the FPS character arms are going to be when you size up your collision in the, in the copper cube game. So I got it to a point where it looks decent. Now it goes back to animation mode. Okay. Now I could bring the the bones back in. I click on the bones. I put it back to zero on the scaling, the location size of zero. It puts it right back in the same spot. Now, when you look at it, it's only the animation. No torso, no head. Yeah, the arms, are, the legs are still there, but when you put it in Copper Cube, you're gonna to get to a point where the camera's gonna be here in the middle and you're only gonna see the arms, okay? So pretty much you have to do that to your animation separately. Um, and then again, like Mixamo, you can merge all your animation in Mixamo and then, you know, fix your third person character into a FPS character and then export it into Copper Cube. So, let me show you an example. I already have a file that was created already. Um, uh, it's called DV Camera Holder Blend, and I'm going to show you. So, if you see here, I already have three animations that was taken from Mixamo. I deleted the vertex of the torso and the head, and there you go. You see separate animations with deleted torsos and head and once it goes into copper cube it's not going to show those torsos and head it's only going to show the arm and everything now the legs can be deleted if you choose to if your choice but i'm only keeping the legs in there because maybe in the camera it sometimes it could show the legs if you're running or you're kicking the door it'll show the legs in in the, the camera you know sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing but I'll let you be the judge of that so now that you see all the animation of how the way it look when when the torsos the vertexes are deleted from the torso and the head let me go into copper cube and show you how the way it will look in copper cube Okay, so give it one minute. DV camera source, and I'm gonna say DV camera version 1.0.2. So here you'll see the animation of the guy with his texture, with his texture. And then a, 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 a attachment node of what you see. So when you're in Copper Cube, it will look like this. Okay. Um, let me go show you all the animations so you can see it. So this is the idle that you saw in Mixamo. This is the look around. And remember, this is a, a, a torch and animation in Mixamo. I just decided to put a camera in here instead of a torch. See? So that's the look around, that's the idle, and that's the jump. There you go. Now, I'm going to go back to idle, and I'm going to rotate the camera. So if I had an active camera, if I had an active camera, it will look exactly like this a FPS arm with well, only the, the arm and show you how it will look in this perspective okay and the other perspective is the jump see now you see the legs you see the legs so you look at the arm and you see the legs mostly in most fps arms you don't see the legs so i don't know like i said it's a good thing or, or a bad thing to show the legs but maybe it is but um 
they'll move the same way if once you do your game you create your game and you have your prop which is the camera and everything and then you have the arm and that's how you convert your third person character into an FPS character in Copper Cube and um pretty much that's it um if y'all like it guys you know um you can give it a try if you have any more questions about it um feel free to comment on the channel and on the video and tell me what you think um the the reason why i'm saying this because i already have created a, a third person character and turned it to a fps character which is the game it's called um um, police blue of arms um, let me see if I can go to the website and show y'all um, so police blue of arms right here make sure you go to gamingartcraft.itch.io and download the demo version of police blue of arms katana ninja FPS great armor tactics and I am putting game assets in here um, an elevator that you might want to, you know, check out for your game. So, Police Blue of Arms is a is a good example of of what I created for converting a um, a third person character into a FPS character with arms, where I deleted the torso on the head and then it's just the arms. Um, it turned out good as a demo version, and you know, I used this for like. The kick the door down, so the kick the door down animation, you will see the feet and then kick the door with the feet kicking the door. So I use that just to be part of the animation that I was trying to do where I want to see an actual foot kick the door, even if it's FPS. So converting the third person character into a FPS actually turned out good in Blender. And these are things you can do for your game to make it better. So um, um, pretty much that's it, guys. Um, this was just a short tutorial on on merging models in Mixamo and converting third-person character into FPS character. So my name is Panther. Thank you for um, looking at this video and subscribe to my channel. Put likes and comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.